Hey guys, I haven't done an introduction today, so I'm just going to say this is my favourite hamstring exercises. I've done glutes and quads previously, so here we go. Number one, Nordic curls. I love Nordic curls and I love doing them with the lat pull down machine. I actually find this a lot more comfortable than the actual Nordic curl machine, as the Nordic curl machine has a big lump thing and I find that really hurts my quads. To set up, you'll just need a box or a BOSU ball or something like this. I'm using the BOSU here, but it's probably better to get a higher box to start with, as the lower you go, the more it's gonna hurt as you have to do a lot more work. So it's all about trying to get the body as straight as possible. As soon as your bum wants to push backwards, your body's gonna bend and that's gonna take pressure off of the hamstrings. So the straighter your body, the more pressure on the hamstrings. Then you just need to control it as much as you can on the way down, just as slow as possible. And then the slightest of pushes on the way up, and then you'll really feel those hamstrings working to pull you back up. This exercise is all about control. The more you control, the more you're gonna get out of it. I only do about eight to 10 reps of these, as anything else is just far too much. It's a very intense exercise, so it doesn't need to be that many reps. The next exercise is RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So I find these really good to hit the upper part of my hamstrings. With a lot of the other exercises I do, it's more lower. So these really get into the top part and even sometimes the glutes. So just keep a slight bend in the knee. You don't want to lock out completely or it just puts pressure on the joints. And then just really try and push your bum back as much as you can and also pushing it up at the same time. Then you'll really feel that stretch through the back of the legs and with that extra weight, you're really going to feel that burn. It's really important to remember that you're not bending the back. The back is merely working as a hinge as your bum goes back. Do not bend the back, otherwise you're just gonna put pressure on the lower back and not work the hamstrings. I normally do about eight to 12 reps of these, depending on how heavy I wanna go. Next is single leg RDL. I've shown this in some of my other videos. I've shown this with the glute video because it really, really works for glutes as well. The lower you go, that pull is just gonna ride up the leg so you'll feel it all through the hamstrings and then it will hit the glutes too, which is why I love this exercise so much because it's so intense in both of those muscle groups. So don't stand too far away from the bench and then just have one leg propped up and then exactly the same as RDLs, slight bend in the leg and then just pushing the bum back and up, trying to feel that pull all through the back of the leg. Make sure to always keep your shoulders back and your chest up, keeping the back nice and straight. This goes for all exercises and just keeping the weights nice and close to the leg. I always do 10 reps on each side of this. I pretty much always stick to 10 reps when it's single leg movements. So this is one of my new favourites because I haven't done it in ages because Pure Gym never had this machine and the one at Muscleworks was just away from the leg area so I never ended up using it. But this is amazing for your hamstrings, oh my goodness. However, the problem is a lot of people use it for their back and they don't realise how intense you can get this on your hamstrings and how much you can work them. So again, it's the same as what I was telling you before with the RDLs. Your back is not bending. Your back is merely working as a hinge. And what you want to do is push the knees into the pad on the way down and then on the way up, drive the hips into the pad and squeeze the bum. So your glutes and your hamstrings are the thing that's really pulling you up. It is not your back. You do not wanna be feeling your lower back in this. It wants to be very intense through the hamstrings. So as you can see, my knees are pushing down in the pad on the way down and then on the way up, my knees lift up as I'm driving my hips forward and squeezing the glutes. Do this exercise, you will feel it so much. You don't even need a weight, but the weight is just extra because, you know, just adds that little bit of va va -voom. I go for 12 reps to really get the burn. Last but not least, obviously an isolation machine, lying leg curl. This is great because it's really intense. You don't have to worry too much about technique. You just have to keep those hips down. Obviously, as you get tired, your hips are gonna wanna lift, but that's taking pressure away from the hamstrings. So try and keep them down on the pad. 
and then bring it up, try hold it a little bit at the top if you can and just really control it on the way down. It's all about control with the hamstrings. The slower you go, the more you're gonna feel it. I like to hit 12 reps on this exercise. Thank you all for watching. I hope it was useful and I'll see you next time.